Hello Virgo, this is Eva at Mungades Oreca with your Virgo in separation, no contact reading. This can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. Please know that I'm never sending you any uh, links out of the blue to click on unless we are in uh, contact already and um, just make sure you are staying safe online. I am sending you lots of love. It can be very uh, difficult times right now for lots of you in many ways. So let's uh, see what is showing up. I am Virgo in five placements, so I know how being a Virgo feels like. I am using the Splendor Solis Tarot and uh, finding out um, the energy between the two of you right now. What is the energy? Because although you are not connected physically, th there is an energy between the two of you, which is the ten of swords. Now, this is um, an energy which is uh, signaling that something has finished or needs to be shut down, put into the past. And the swords are usually representing the mind, but swords can also hurt. Words can hurt. So I feel that this is um, almost like uh, the two of you had a, a battle. You both are wounded. You are both hurt. You are both trying to recover. And um, things can't go on anymore the way they were in the past. So how do you see your person? We've got the King of Pentacles. So you know that the two of you may um, feel like or felt like in the past that you could be a good um, match with each other. How they see you is the Seven of Wands. So they see you... Um, like... Um, you are not letting them in. You are not sharing things with them. You are shutting them out. Your intention shows as the Queen of Swords. So, you, as far as you are concerned, it's done. You cut them out. Their intention shows as the Queen of Wands. So, they don't want to accept that it's gone, it's done. They feel that you are very attractive, you are uh, magnetic, you are magical, so it can't be it, it can't be the end. Your fears are the Six of Swords, so you are afraid of fully moving on from this. Their fears is the Hanged Man, so their fear is they won't find the right approach to you before it's too late. The obstacle is the star. So what are your wishes for both of you? It feels like it's an obstacle because you both want different things. Well, just looking at these cards, you want to move on from them and they want to come back to you. That, to start with, is two different wishes. So where you both want to head towards what your intentions are, are very, very different. And the possible outcome is the magician. So it's um, both of you are magicians. You both believe that you can create what you want, but I feel the two of you are um, in two different places trying to manifest things and um, it's not harmonized, it's not uh, tuned together. The bottom of the deck is the tower, so it shows very, very clearly that it's a split up, it's a breakup, it's done. Now, 
you believe that it's permanent and they believe that they can do something about this. So this actually can be a twin flame connection. And uh, I would like to find out more about this situation. So, what is this intention signified by the Queen of Wands on your love interest side? Page of Swords with the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles. So, they are keeping an eye on you. They are committed to this connection. And they want to get another chance to prove that they can match your energy. They can give as much as you give. And they feel defeated. They are searching for the light, the path forward. And they want uh, to become the alchemist to create this situation. Bring it back from the de dead. Um, okay, let's see this star the wishes from your love interest's perspective. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Wands reversed. High Priestess. Seven of Swords reversed. And the world at the bottom. So this Two of Pentacles is uh, them trying to decide what they really want what they want from you, what they want from this connection. It, Spirit is telling me they took this for granted. They thought it will always be there. You always be there for them. And now you are not. It's uh, kind of um, scary for them. And then we've got the Seven of Swords reversed. So they want to come clean with you about their situation. The High Priestess, they are listening within, trying to find a way forward. We've got... <laughs> One second, my doggy came up. So the Ace of Wands reversed is showing that um, they don't um, initiate anything right now because... Um, they are unsure how to do this. They are unsure themselves what to do right now, what um, way they can make their wishes come true. And the magician has the outcome. Let's see what that is about. King of Wands, Five of Wands reversed, and the Hanged Man. They are hoping for a positive change. And uh, they want to take action. Right now, they are giving up on uh, banging on your door, trying to break through. They are really stopping, stepping back and looking at it, how they can reconnect with you. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tophie, keep digging the sofa. Hey are you doing so this looks like you're you have been very patient you gave them lots of chances you gave them lot of credit and now it's like I have tried everything I have done everything I can't do anymore so to answer the question what is happening in this separation, no contact energy is um, you both have your own idea how to continue and it's just going into two different directions. You are not coming towards each other at all. So what your person would like to tell you? I wish I could share my good news with you. 
finding out the truth crushed me. You came closer than anyone. So they kind of understand that you have changed. Your energy is different right now. I wish I could share my good news with you. What is that about? I wish I had treated you better. So the good news could be that they want to reconnect and show you how they can actually treat you better. Finding out the truth crushed me. It's for me, sorry, it's time for me to heal now. So this finding out the truth could be that you told them you are done. There is no way you come back from this together. And uh, as the first card showed, the Ten of Swords, you are both wounded. And there is time needed to heal from this. You came closer than anyone. I wish I could take back my words. So, yeah, they are regretful. They realize um, how much they took you for, for granted. Let's have a few more cards. I wish I had treated you better. I feel you leaving me behind. So they know. They know that this time is different. I can't stop thinking about you. I don't react when people mention you. So they keep it as a secret. I love you. So this is a rude awakening for your love interest to realize that you are truly moving on and um, they had all the time in the world to treat you better, to listen to you, to do what they needed to do, but they thought you will be there forever so they can treat you however they want to. Which is not so nice. Anyway, we're good. This is what I have for you. And in the extended, we are going to look into what comes after this. For you. And um, is there any chance that your person could come, come back to you? So thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. If you wish to have a personal reading or coaching session with me, do get in touch and I'm sending you lots of love. Bye for now.